What up YouTube fans, this is Zibby Masters, return to my Let's Play Persona 3 Royal. Port, Persona 3 Portable. Welcome back. You're late. Ryoji-kun was just leaving. Oh, hi. What's up? Studying? You know, I'm here a lot, but I hardly ever run into you. Strange, huh? Oh, well. I'm out of here. See you later. See you later, Ryoji. Was that Ryoji-san? Yeah, he said he was... What was he... He's been coming here a lot ever since he started hanging around with Junpei. But visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Mitsuro-senpai said it's okay during the day. I don't think we need to worry about Ryoji-kun. He's... dangerous. Who? Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he was hitting on Mitsuru-senpai the first time he met her. <laughs> but having him around us really cheered up Junpei-kun. Well... It's not like moping around is going to bring her back. That's true. And what's the matter, Aichan? I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine, so I cannot understand how it feels to live. But you don't seem that different. However, it is more accurate to say that I am functioning as opposed to living. There are times when I malfunction. But I can always be repaired. So if we were all like you, we wouldn't have to worry about dying. Uh, sorry. Hey, I don't have time to talk. I, I seriously gotta go study. Hey, uh, shouldn't you guys be studying too? I heard math's gonna be a killer. You wait until now to tell us that? Well, I guess we should call it a night then. I should not possess the gift of life. A living weapon is difficult to operate. However, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Should you ever be harmed, I... I am sorry, I'm just... Concerned. You are very special to me. I do not know why, but I always want to be by your side. I want to protect you. I apologize for interrupting you. I will leave you to your studies. Good night. Ryoji Mojisuki is dangerous. What? Is this uneasiness? I am a machine. I cannot die, so they won't have to grieve for me. I must do something. I don't want them to suffer anymore.
Hello? It's me. I'm sorry for calling so late. As for what to do with the new arrival, I would like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinguishing features, we may be able to locate her family, and I can't shake my suspicion that the Kirijo group is tied to Strega in some way. Because of this, I think it would be disrespectful to the deceased to cover up her death. I will, of course, take full responsibility. Huh? What did you say? Transmogrified? Y you mean the corpse? But judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... Understood. I'm sorry, but this must be kept strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Well then. What's going on? Mm. We'll have to wait and see what happens for now. What's up, dude?
Hi. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here. And yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you... You've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are... my enemy. Your enemy? Enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes, we met once before as adversaries. Who... who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? And you... your true name is... Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <sighs> yes, it was ten years ago, the night I was born into this world. I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. It is for that reason that I was given a personality and a persona. I... I'm the 13th Arcana. I was never meant to be. Everyone called me Death. But when I was born, a part of my power shattered and was strewn about. As a result, I was incomplete. Even so, you were far stronger than I anticipated. Since I could not defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. Under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human boy who happened to be nearby. I had no other choice. I see. I was inside him all this time, and I unwittingly led him to my twelve missing pieces. And then... I see. I understand now. I remember everything. Who and what I am. A machine is created for a purpose. 
Mine is to defeat you. That is the purpose of my existence. It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. Palladian! Don't be foolish, I guess. I'm different than before. There's no way you can win. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This mission appears impossible. A machine that cannot fulfill its purpose has no worth. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm scared. Juno! Wait, did something happen? Yukari, is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. <sighs> oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh, where would she have gone? I sensed, I sensed a, persona, a persona, but it quickly disappeared. disappeared. And, and soon after, after that, that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I guess I'm sorry. I I remember everything who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? <laughs> ryoji -kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... What's going on? It's all my fault. What? You did this? Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us, who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer. Born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself. And shadows, it's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. The maternal being will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? That's right. What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true? Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside him. And by a twist of fate, he later returned here as a transfer student. You mean... Yes, I lived inside him. Inside him? His special persona awakened, as did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside him? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. 
There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Aegis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then. I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. <sighs> Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun? There are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. All life will vanish? Are you saying everyone will die? It would be more accurate to say that everyone will forfeit the will to live. Uh, are you talking about the lost? Fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? I'm sorry. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes, you heard the bell. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. The affirmation of the fall? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <sighs> <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Defeating Nyx is impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous. Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside him. So, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided, but it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to... kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me, as would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the Fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives, and in doing so, the time until the Fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed, but thanks to him, there's a part of me that's human. So if death comes from his hands, I think it may be possible. Ryoji-kun! If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I don't want my memories to be erased. 
To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? <sighs> you don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and become intangible. Ryoji. I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways, so don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Hey, Ryoji, wait! Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. Student dormitory, where you spend your days? So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room, well, did it make you a little suspicious? In truth, there's something I'd like to talk to you about.
During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories, each one a polished glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I requested to visit your room, if I may be so bold. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you? It was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled? After coming here, I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I'll put it more plainly, I'm naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times I seem to act quite strangely. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to guide me through it. Thank you. I <sighs> And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then, Though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part.
that's it for this video hope you like it and stay tuned